Okay, we're going to take off part of the fairing in order to get to the headlight. First, I'm going back under the tail light and open the seat. Pops off like that. And then the front one just slides back. Jimmy move. You're so helpful. And then this part of the fairing just comes off uh, with a screwdriver or and or a Allen wrench. Okay, screwdriver. Oh, Jimmy, no. Now I gotta go underneath the front. Part of the fairing just comes right off like that. And then now we see most of the insides right here. There's the battery, for example. And now I'm going to take off this inner fairing portion. This chooses several hex screws here, here, and on the inside there, and underneath there. I'll take a minute to get those off. Okay, I took out those hex screws, four of them, and now this panel just lifts out of the way a bit, and the headlight is right behind there, it's a little tricky to get to. And here I'm taking the hex screws off of this side inside panel here and just removing it laying it to the side that, that panel has the uh, temperature and gas level but i really need to get access to this headlight assembly right there which is kind of hidden Okay, we have the new headlight bulb, the LED, and let's start it up and take a look, shall we? Let's see. 
Ooh, that looks bright. Yep. I love the trees. keep my registration and tool and that's about all and look at my good helper here thank you a lot Jimmy for being the best helper bye bye oh, and also here's uh, the different height uh, things you can set for the seat by sliding into these grooves in the front and the back here and they just go on these rails right here on the seat it's got three positions also on this fairing, uh, several of these front screws are just plastic locking screws. You just press in. You don't actually screw them. Oops, what did I do? And this is the Twin Max air balancer. Um, you connect it to the bottom of the air box on each left and right side. And um, if you start it at zero, um, on the adjustment and then start it up you'll see like if one left cylinder right cylinder has more air vacuum it usually means that there's a uh, adjustment you can make on uh, the usually the right side of the throttle to try to get it more in balance and it runs more even and these just uh, these hoses just plug into the bottom of the air box which is where this little rubber cap is you just take that off, plug one in, and on the other side. You can actually ride for a little while with this. It doesn't hurt anything. And I usually sometimes put it to my gas tank and tape it there and watch it under different RPMs and things like that. Also, on each side of the air box is a capped, uh, has a screw in it. Uh, this is from going to the old, uh, there was an um, an air uh, recycler for emissions or something and uh, it just got old and was getting blocked up and it was not necessary so I just disconnected from that and uh, there's no real issue that's the way it works good that way